Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the 5-2 Toys Beast Box Orbital BB-59A So yeah, A because they, they released three um, repaint, remold of this same figure and I only got one because you know, I don't like really uh, having uh, repaints and remolds in my collection so yeah, I got only one. I got the Orbital. Uh, the other ones were pretty good too. I, I, I was really hesitating between all three of them, which one I was gonna get. I took this one. So <laughs> yeah, got the box here, nothing to it. And the box is really small compared to the other ones. And that's because it doesn't come with a charger box. And I'm really disappointed in this. So yeah, let's open up the box. There we go, we got uh, instructions here and that's it. So, yeah, uh, instructions, you know, standard stuff. Uh, I don't think it's gonna have like anything uh, different from the others. So, uh, yeah, we got instructions right here first. Transformation is uh, interesting. It's pretty easy, but uh, it's just knowing where uh, all the parts goes, especially for the, uh, the little stand that comes with it. So, yeah, there we go. It's really small. <laughs> so, we got only this right here from fish to cube and uh, yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> so yeah very small instructions we have a couple of uh, uh, catalog I've already covered those in uh, my previous video for the uh, squid so I'm not gonna waste time with this and we also have the card right here and uh, yeah the card is kind of weird very different from the other ones so yeah it's just cardboard mine's already bent up a bit but uh yeah that's it <laughs> Oops, move this also. And we have the figure right, right here. So we have the fish right here, and we have this thing right here. So let's get this, put this aside. So yeah, first, what is this? This is the filler, because this figure is quite small. So yeah, it's much smaller than most cube. And being super small, you have like uh, this, if I can open it, there you go, that will fit the figure inside and this will then fit into a, bo uh, bark a box charger so yeah that's why I'm it's cool that they provide this but the problem is uh, I would have you know like to have an extra uh, box charger because now I need to go and buy an extra one so we'll come back to this later we'll keep this open there you go but we have the figure right here and it's stained so let's remove it so we'll get a stand that goes with it Kind of cool. Uh, this stand, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can pop everything out. Every pieces uh, can be removed, and you can, you know, just pop it wherever you want. So uh, I think, uh, where is it? Like this? No. Where's the bigger one? I haven't played too much with it, so <laughs> let's move this. So yeah, you can just remove the piece and, you know, play with it however you like so you know I'll think this is the one there you go and this plugs here you know these can rotate we can just remove plug them wherever you want make it look like it's uh, sort of a algae so we can move how we want like this I'm just plugging like pretty much whatever <laughs> And this goes here, maybe. There you go, and then you can move, you can pivot this. Oop. Just plug it however you want. And it makes you a stand for the fish. Now you have the fish right here. I'm not too sure what kind of fish it's supposed to be. Uh, I'm not like a marine expert, but... <laughs> it looks maybe like a guppy fish? Or a Watkins uh, goldfish, or a fantail goldfish, perhaps, but doesn't have the color, of course. But well, it's still a beautiful fish, really cute. Uh, the head can move up and down, doesn't rotate. The tail can move like this, and this can flip like this. And you have the tiny fins here. So yeah, I'm not too sure what kind of fish is this. So if you know, uh, leave a comment, and then you can plug it onto the. Uh, stand so whoop, again this piece <laughs> remove there you go so yeah just have normal stand it's cute doesn't have any uh, purpose but uh well yeah. the fish itself uh, doesn't have much to go on it's pretty beautiful nice detail 
But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Comparison, I mean, <laughs> I got the squid right here. You can see it's very small. So, yeah. <laughs> like I said, it's a smaller cube. So, yeah, let's go ahead with the uh, transformation. So for the fish, very easy. You have like this bump on the side right here. You need to put the fin on the other side. These will go in like this and these will go over like this. Next up you want to separate the, the half like this. Bring this down and bring the head all the way in and close it back. And then you close these back. Next up take the, 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 the back, pull it out, rotate these forward, push it back in like this. This goes down and up. And these will just bend like this. So that's the first part all done. Next up, you want to take the stand, remove everything just to help you. And you have like this big peg at the bottom. You want to peg in the fish. And there's a hole at the back here. You plug the tail in it. So like this, and plug the tail in like this. So you have that formation now. Next up, you want to take these, rotate them down. And you want to plug them, uh, I think it's uh, right here like this. Uh, no, not this one. This one goes on the other side like this. Right here. Yeah, like this. And you have like a peg right here that will plug into it. There you go. Next up, you have this one that will go in the back here. This. And this big part here will clamp onto the side right here. Now you take this one, this is the front that goes here, you plug it in, and this will also tab inside the fish in front. You take this one here, again you plug it right here like this, plug it in, and these will go in here and tab onto the side, there you go, there you go. And finally you have this one that will plug in here. And again, you have a peg onto the tail right here. Plug it in, plug it in, and voila, we have the cube all done. So, like I said, you have the uh, this thing right here. You can slide this in here. So, now your fish is secured, and now all of this will fit into a box charger. There you go. So, yeah, it's a bit weird. Like I said, I would have wished we had still a box charger because now I still need to buy another one for this one. So, yeah. Go. Yeah. It's, it's cool, but uh, like I said, it's cool that they have like smaller cube. I wouldn't mind like a, the stand I'm not a fan of, to be honest. So yeah, I would have uh, preferred if we just had the fish that made a actual cube. Even though it would be smaller, I wouldn't mind in having this, but at least provide the box charger. You know, we, we need storage. <laughs> but yeah, still pretty cool. I really love the fish. It looks really beautiful. And uh, you know, like I said, the stand not really uh, doesn't do it to me uh, too much, but uh, it's cool. We have a stand for you know display. So yeah, this is uh, the. Uh, Beast Box B59A. Uh, yeah, I was looking at the box. <laughs> Orbital. Like I said, there's like three repaints total of this fish. There's this one. There's a green and uh, pink one, I guess. It's really nice. And there's a orange, deep orange one that looks also good. They're, they're all beautiful. I just had to go with one because I don't like repaints. But yeah, really cool figures. Nice, uh, cool, uh, smaller box charger thing. But I just wish we had an actual box charger, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, you know the song. Love, like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. I right, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.